Hi lovelies, welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks I have to do a really quick easy smoky eye for beginners or for people who just want to have fun um, while we're all in lockdown and practice smoky eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to do like my face off camera and I'll do this eye so then I can step by step go through you, go through you. I want to go through you. <laughs> No, I want to go through with you my techniques for my smoky eye. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly do everything that I do. I feel like you guys have seen it quite often. Um, and then we'll go in like detail. I will use um, an eye primer. I like the NARS one. But because I feel like a lot of people don't have primers, I'm just going to use like a NARS concealer because it's creamy, but as well, it's like it'll stick once I place it. So I'm gonna get onto that, and I'll see you when I'm all back and done waiting for you with my eye. I've got my face on, and we're gonna just get straight into it. So the first thing that I recommend is going in with what you're gonna use for your bronzer. So I'm using the Fenty Naughty Cocoa, and now I also use this as a bronzer. So what I like to do is I like to look straight and then I just place my brush very lightly, kind of just all there. And I like to bring it out a bit. So I'm literally holding it at the end. Now with the same brush and same shade, I'm just dragging that further in, being a bit more messier with it. Now you don't want to drag this past your eyebrow. I like to kind of leave it there. The transition shade I'll leave there, but I don't want it to be further than this point. I always have a big blending brush and I always just kind of pat that down first. And then I just very lightly blend out. That's our transition shade done. Now the only palette I'm gonna use is the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's love mixing colors. So with these two shades, I'm gonna just place that all the way till about here. So when you wanna look straight, you want it to kind of be on the edge. Big fluffy brush again, and we're just gonna dab that away. And I'm pulling that way, I don't wanna bring that further in. These shades are pretty coppery, and I'm just bringing that there. Taking a more precise brush, this is just a Morphe brush, I'm not sure the name. And I'm just very lightly doing circular motions. And then with this one, I'm bringing it out the other way. Taking two more deeper shades. And this one I'm bringing a little bit out as well. So I look straight and then I place that just on my crease area. Because I want to give that a bit more definition. Alright, so I'm using that same brush I used to blend the other shade. And I'm just doing circular motions, really small circular motions. I don't want to bring that too high up or too far out. So you should have something like this. So now I'm taking another, well, pretty much the same brush that I've been using this whole time in with even deeper shades. Very, very dark brown. So with these, I'm bringing them just to the outer edge. So then you just want to start blending. Remember, very light circular motions.
This is just like a little trick I like to do. For intensity, I like to actually go back in with the other two shades and just deepen everything that we've just done. So I know that looks really bad right now, but then I use this brush. I lightly just blend the edges. So then everything in the middle still looks really intense. In with the first two shades and I kind of just use that to diffuse it a bit. And now I'm just gonna place that just on the top there. My big fluffy brush and we're just pressing everything in. Taking that black shade and I'm literally just lining the outer part of my eye. Just doing my lash line. Much doing what I did to the top, to the bottom. I'm gonna use two of the Gerard lip liners. I'm using Sugar and Spice and Mudslide. So I'm using Mudslide to line my lips and then I'm gonna fill the rest in with Sugar and Spice. So this is pretty much the whole look, but I thought I wanted to add a gloss and this is my new favorite gloss ever. It is the BYS Colored Glasses. Such a good gloss, oh my God. I hope that helped um, you guys with doing a brown smoky eye. Um, that's like the easiest way I've found doing it. I do have other ways of doing it that take so much longer, but I feel like that is the most effective way for me and it looks so good. I feel like it's a nice gradient and it's like a good way to build up color as well. So if you guys try it, let me know, make sure you tag me um, and like, I will repost you. If you guys want any other videos of like tips and tricks or like how to, leave me a comment in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button somewhere down there. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying home if you need to. And let's all get glam together. I mean, I'm literally gonna go outside and just sweep the floor so I feel like I have been outside with this makeup on <laughs> and then I'm gonna come inside and take it all off yay <laughs> but I mean I guess it's fun to put it on anyway and get dressed up I get dressed up you know I sit on the couch I watch some TV and then I feel good to go feel good to be back in my slum uniform which is trackies my robe if anyone knows me, knows I'm obsessed with my robe and my Ugg boots. <laughs> the life. The quarantine life, everyone. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. Leave me a comment in the description box with what you want me to do next. And I will happily do it. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias as well. I'll link everything down below that I used. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much again. Mwah. Love you. Bye.